since yesterday was so stinking rough for me. Um, I had a bad night. I woke up about one with that stupid migraine still. I wasn't able to finish my muffin. Um, so for breakfast today, I decided uh, I am going to make something I know I'll like that our food's on the menu. And so, um, let me show you what I make. Um, this is what I'm making. Uh, I put an egg, well, a tablespoon of avocado oil, an egg, some sliced mushroom with um, spinach on top. Um, so, here's to a better day with uh, hopefully not a migraine again. I'm feeling stronger than I did last night, so that's good. So, it's day five in the morning, not doing so well. Uh, I probably look really rough. Had a rough night sleeping. And having a hard time even working today because I can't see with this eye because it's so irritated and so dry. I feel like I've just been drinking a ton of caffeine. But I haven't had caffeine in almost a week now, so. Um, last night was pretty rough. Had a massive headache starting at about 6, 7 p.m. And uh, Tylenol wouldn't make it go away. Um, I thought about taking Excedrin, but if you can't tell, my eye is really irritated. And actually, the bottom of my foot, I have a shoe on today. I normally don't wear shoes. I normally wear flip-flops every day. <laughs> but the bottom of my shoe is, uh, the bottom of my feet are really dry and cracked. And my eye is, re this eye is especially, is so dry and irritated. Um, it feels like I have rocks or sand in my eye. Um, and that's how my eye gets and my foot will get that way if I drink a lot of caffeine. Like if I were to drink energy drinks for a couple days in a row or something. Um, you know, my body just gets really dehydrated. Uh, and I, 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 for being on this diet, um... I think it said in the book that you lose a lot of water um, in the first little bit. So I definitely feel like that's been happening. And I've been, you know, I got my fancy new water bottle and I've been trying to drink a lot of water, but I just think I need to up the intake because I don't think I'm replacing it as fast as I'm losing it. And it's ha it's drying my body out. And that's why I'm struggling with my eye and my foot. Um, and uh, it's making it challenging to work because my eye is so irritated today. I've got the drops, I've got the stuff that you clean your eye out with, and it's just a challenge to the point where last night I was thinking, I don't know how I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> uh, but in the book, it did say that it would be rough for the first couple of weeks, so... Um, and that we would hate... I think uh, he said we would hate him. <laughs> Right now, I'm not feeling very happy uh, with doing this diet, but uh, Jan and I talked this morning and we decided just to keep pushing through um, because, you know, I mean, I have felt crappy if for a lot, you know, being on crap diet too. So um, it's not like I was feeling great before this diet. It's just frustrating that something that's supposed to help me feel better is making me feel worse, but that seems to be the norm. So going to keep pushing through. I think one thing I'm going to do is drink, uh, you know, more water. Um, and also I know uh, the last couple of days, I think I've eaten a lot more of the, um, like meats and, uh, flour based, you know, like the almond flour and coconut flour stuff just because it's like comfort food. Um, so I'm going to try to eat more of the vegetables and the, uh, resistant starches that I don't think I've really been getting a lot of um, just to see if that helps I don't know if it will or not but I just want to kind of balance it out and not be so lopsided um, and see if that makes this you know my body adjusting uh, any better or maybe it'll make it worse uh, anyway um, yeah just that's the challenge right now So just a quick update, it's about 2 p.m. And my eye is still bothering me right now, but it's gotten, it's improved over the day. I don't know if that's because I've been drinking more water or whatnot. Um, and as you saw just a moment ago, I am eating the same salad I ate yesterday. 
Just mostly because I had the chicken and the avocado still and I wanted to use them before they went bad. And it's actually really good with the uh, pesto. So, uh, interestingly, I just uh, stumbled across, I was looking for MCT oil and I stumbled across a... I didn't stumble across, I found a website uh, for the Bulletproof Diet and I watched the YouTube video interview with Dr. Gundry and the guy, the founder of Bulletproof, and I forget his name right now. So it was very interesting uh, uh, to, to hear these, these guys talking. Um, I also, a couple of days ago, watched an interview with Dr. Gundry, and I think the website was Life Hacked or something. I forget now. Also very interesting to see these people who have done all this research outside of the medical industry and have essentially come to the same conclusions. Um, and it's nice to see that, you know, somebody from the medical and science, uh, you know, research has come through with scientific proof that these things are working. So, um, uh, I'm going to order some of the, the MCT oil from the Bulletproof, uh, and, uh, cause I noticed in the, in the recipes that a lot of them call to add some of that oil. And I was like, huh, I don't even have any of that. What is it? <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to try it. We'll try that as well and um, go from there. Just kind of taking baby steps to get, get there. First thing is to change our eating habits and try and, you know, remove as many lectins as possible. But uh, eventually I'd like to start doing some of the other things that they recommend with the supplements and sleep. So anyway, enough of that. We'll pick it up later. Okay, so I decided to try this drink. I have just put a tablespoon of the, I think that's what you put in there, a tablespoon, right? Let me check. Yeah, a tablespoon. And then I got the sparkling water that he recommended. So, I'm going to add that in. Whoa. I guess I should have put the uh, soda in first and then the vinegar. It's going to take a minute. If you hear me sniffling, it's because I was cutting onions earlier because I'm making the salmon with the onions and cabbage. Making a double batch, that's why it looks like a lot. And my eye is not bothering me as much, but I can still tell it's irritated. And I've had to pee like every 10 minutes all day because I've been drinking so much water. And Jan says the same. <laughs> it's exactly how you feel when you're pregnant. But I think most of it's just caused from the, this diet. It's just like, all the, I guess all the toxins, I'm peeing them out. Because I don't feel like I'm eating, I mean, I'm not eating caffeine, and that's normally what makes me have to pee so much. It's funny, it looks kind of like root beer or something. All right, I'm gonna try it like this. Got my Star Wars cup. That makes it taste better. All right, here goes nothing. I mean, it tastes like vinegar in soda water. Surprise, surprise. But it's actually kind of good. <laughs> It doesn't taste like a sweet soda or anything. It doesn't have a bad aftertaste so far. Yeah, I could definitely drink that. That's not bad at all. You wanna try it? I'm not really. Just try. All right. Whoo! They don't smell it. Making Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah, it kind of tastes like you're drinking Easter eggs. Oh, don't tell Just me Just have that. a swallow. This is for people who don't like soda at all. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not like super sweet or anything. No. But it definitely, I mean, this is like room temperature. It's not even cold. I wonder if cold it would even taste better. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. All right, back to the salmon. Okay, here's dinner. Oops, I'm oh. pulling this out. All right, here's dinner. Still have my drink. I made some more. 
This is a meal we made in yeah. the past. And I don't know how I look today, but compared to this morning, I feel a lot better. I feel more energy. And my eye is still bothering me. And it's probably going to bother me and wake me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> I hope not, but we'll see. I had a rough night as I did a video recording. And it, um, and I woke up at 1 with a splitting migraine again in my left eye. I had to take some Excedrin, and, uh, but today's been better. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling hopeful, and um, I'm glad David's doing this with me so he can be my rock. And also, Josh is our dinner rock because he loves eating dinner with us. I just like food. <laughs> so, Josh, you've been eating a few of these meals. Mm -hmm. What have you thought? Uh, they were better than I expected. Um, like this one had picked onions, which normally I hate, but they weren't that bad. So it was pretty good. There's, two, there's either two things with healthy food to eat. Either like really, really, really raw, like you said, like eating like a rabbit or something, or you feel like you're going to eat cardboard or just nothing. Where this was, you know, it was a decent sized meal and it was really well rounded, which made a lot of sense. Cool. It was amazing. It was really, really good. And so, um, when you, if you decide to make that recipe, you may want to just eat the spinach fresh rather than bake it on the pizza. But that was really, really good. And um, then for dinner, we had salmon, um, and then uh, cooked the purple onions, cabbage, and had some sliced avocado as well. And that was good. Um, so I know to help me get through these these initial two weeks at least where it's just I know going to be challenging um, I recommend thinking of, of stuff that you like that you can look forward to eating honestly I haven't really felt hungry my body's been <laughs> freaking out so bad um, and I have been drinking way I, I usually drink a lot of water like at least the recommended um, for my weight if not more and I've been easily usually like three containers but I, I've actually got a larger container now and I've been drinking four of those a day um, and so that's awesome um, I have noticed quite significant changes after work I was able to go and get the mail for the first time in three months and that sounds so silly but you know what there's no way I could have done that um, and it's just amazing. Um, yesterday, Monday, was my first day working um, while being on the diet, and uh, it was the first time in three months that by the end of the day, I really honestly wasn't considering calling Dave and having him come and pick me up just so I wouldn't have to put my foot on the gas pedal or the brake. And that just sounds so pathetic, but that's honestly how bad my body was hurting and just how painful and you know when you another thing that's been so difficult is I'm very very much an A personality and I, I'm very particular about my home and having it clean and and um, but I just have not had the, the energy or the pain the tolerance with my pain and everything to do stuff around the house and so really I've been solely relying on the kids and Dave to do it and they have been awesome they have not complained they have been you know totally got up done whatever I've asked them to do but you know as a mom um, and as kind of the lady of the house I guess you would say it's so depressing to be like I can't even clean my bathroom because I, it just hurts too bad to, to scrub the bathtub and the shower and the, you know, sinks. And mentally, um, physically, it was really hard, but mentally it was so, so discouraging. And it was really hard to, to just kind of keep your spirits up when you feel so crappy. And so this... Um, has helped me a lot. It's made me feel a lot stronger. I just wanted to share that with you because if you are doing this and you're struggling, you will make it. 
you will make it through. If today's been a bad day, plan that day better. Figure out snacks and stuff that you like and make it work for you. It will be worth it. Um, I was totally questioning my sanity and even doing this last night. I was so sick and discouraged and having a splitting migraine and throwing up and just everything was just, I just, I, I felt like I couldn't do it. But I feel so much stronger today and I'm so glad that I have absolutely to the T stuck to this. I haven't cheated. I'm not tempted to cheat because I don't want to go through these withdrawals again. Um, hang in there though, and you'll I know you'll be able to do it and it will 100% be worth it. Okay, so I just had some neighbors over that haven't seen me in a while. <laughs> and they were they were like obviously noticing my eyes and stuff and they're like, "Oh my gosh, are you okay?" Uh, so I thought that was kind of funny because I'm like, "No, not really. I'm going through a sugar withdrawal or something." And then uh, I think in the hour they were here, I had to get up and go to the bathroom three times because <laughs> uh, I just have to pee every 15, 20 minutes, I swear. And every time I do, I make sure I drink more water because I'm hoping my eye doesn't really bother me again tonight and that I can actually sleep. But uh, we'll see because it's still, I can tell it's still on the, on the verge. And you can probably tell by looking at it how puffy my eyes are and everything. But anyway, just wanted to give that update.